It's hard to believe it's already been nearly one year since that deadly shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School, and tonight the community is still healing. The students still grieving. That's right. CBS 12's Maxine Betzel sat down with some of them. She joins us in studio now with how they're coping a year later. Maxine. Well, for some students, it feels like this past year went slow. Others say it flew by, but all of the kids I spoke with are just trying to do their best to cope with everyday life now, a life that changed dramatically over the past year. Most people got better, but I feel like I got worse. It's been said. But then you look at the date, it's like, wow, it's already one year. Time heals all wounds. But for many Marjorie Stoneman Douglas students, current and past, time to heal is something they could use a little more of. It's been really hard. And sometimes it comes back up and then it goes back down. And then it's just like, it's, it's every day is different, really. It's brought up every day for me. Like people ask about it, people talk about it. Even now, one year later. Out of nowhere, like I started feeling really guilty that I wasn't the one that was shot at the school. Memories of the day a gunman stormed into Stoneman Douglas, killing 17 people, still haunt Shannon Lee. The sound, the smell of the gunpowder, just seeing my friends laying there covered in blood and then walking out of the building, seeing people laying there. It just can't, you just can't forget any part of it. Lee has since graduated, but moving on has been next to impossible. Every day, like constantly, I'm always thinking about it. Driving in my car, I see my sticker, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas sticker, the decal that I had for last year. I, it reminds me of school and then um, seeing the stickers behind people's cars, hashtag MSC strong. You just can't stop thinking about it. Lee lost two of her friends who died right in front of her eyes. They were really sweet people. Nick, he wanted to go to Olympics and he's a swimmer. Yeah. And Helena, she's really quiet, the, the really sweet girl in the class, always smiling. On Valentine's Day, the community will remember Nick Dwaret, Helena Ramsey, and the other 15 people who died, each in their own way. For Joshua Reamer, it will be a day of reflection. It's not a day that I want to go out and do anything. For Gabriela Figueroa, it's a day where time now stands still. I'm just going to be thinking about how, like, what I've been through, what everyone has been, been through, and, like, just what happened, how, like, that day was supposed to be a day full of love, and now that day is full of hatred now. Thursday is certainly going to be a tough day for all of the students. While many tell me they have taken off school, others do plan to participate in the day of service scheduled at the school that day. Reporting in the studio, Maxine Benzel, CBS 12 News.